What is up everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Good morning. Happy Friday. The weekend is here. I can't wait. You know what the only thing to make this day better if this was a payday Friday. It is not for me, but maybe it is for you. Listen, today's video is going to be an absolute banger. Wait till you see this information I have put together. We're about to talk about the European Central Bank. Talking about Ripple and Ripple Connect and Ripple's liquidity. What? You got that right from a p interview or from a PDF slide about a week old. Wait till you see this. Plus, we're going to talk about an amazing interview we heard from Miss Rios yesterday. Let's just get into this, people. I don't want to take all your time this morning. Make sure you give me a follow on Twitter, XRP News underscore. Make sure you hit the bell. Hit the thumbs up. Support the channel. It's free. It takes two seconds. XRP right now. That's where you can find me on YouTube. Make sure you visit XRPRightNow.com, the number one source for your Ripple and XRP news. All right, market. What do we got going on? I'll tell you what's going on. Nothing. It is flat. Market cap has settled in about 1.7, 1.8 trillion. We're down from 2.5, so a lot of money has exited this market. Bitcoin sitting at a crisp 40K. Our beloved XRP is at $1.16. Where do we go from here? Well, no one knows. It could either be another massive sell-off one more time before we start going up, or we're going to start shooting up. Time will tell. I'm not going to sit here and act like I know, because guess what? I don't know. And you don't know. And no one knows. Only the whales know. The ones that control this market. They know what is going on. They know where they want to put these prices. Maybe they want more, one more shakeout. Maybe they say, hey, we shook them out enough. Now it's time to ride. Time will tell people, but nothing has changed for XRP. Remember that. All right, let's jump over to the news. Up first from today, SEC vs. Ripple telephone conference. Listen, 4,000 people can call in. They up the line. The number is posted right here. I'll leave this slide up for a quick second. It is going on at 2 p.m. EST. So this afternoon, you got a while. I called in the last one. These are usually about an hour, give or take. It'll be interesting to see what comes out of this. I believe they are discussing the findings from what Ripple or the SEC has found in regards to XRP and security status and the emails. It'll be interesting to find out. So it's 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will cover that. Don't you worry. Then we move over to a tweet that yours truly. Over 60,000. Thank you, everyone. XRP News underscore. That is me. It's in the gym yesterday. I was on the treadmill watching a little CNBC, doing a little Bitcoin segment. Of course, they don't put up the price of XRP. They still, I think it was like Doge, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and maybe Litecoin. I don't remember. But there was no XRP. What else do you expect? But guess what? CNBC was doing an interview. I forget with who. <clears throat> and they called Bitcoin a pyramid scheme. Love to see it. I know, I know it's something we want to see, but love to see it. Throwing it out there for what it is, right? All right, let's jump over to the good stuff. Stop messing around here. The ECB, this was sent over from Rath Kahneman. Interesting slide with Klaus M. Lober, who's the head of oversight for the European Central Bank. Ripple Connect and Ripple Liquidity are listed as if they have product names, question mark. It looks like Ripple's messaging and XRP use are split out, suggested more, familiar, more familiarity than most presenters. So first, just want to show you, this is e, EBS University. Here's Klaus Martin Lober. What does it say? Klaus Martin Luber is the head of oversight of the European Central Bank. So now you know who this guy is, who just put out this presentation May 18th, Tuesday. Who is the president of the European Central Bank? I want you to ask yourselves that question. If you answer Christine Lagarde, ding, ding, you got it right. So you have this guy who's the head of the oversight of the European Central Bank. You have Christine Lagarde, who knows all about Ripple, all about XRP, been seen with Brent Gallicals, got him into all these big meetings in front of the BIS and all ahead of these central bankers. And this guy puts out a presentation on Tuesday called Cross-Border Payment and Cooperative Oversight. I want to scroll down here. I want to read a couple slides to you. First one, page eight. 
new forms of cross-border and cross-currency settlement. Entry of new players in reactions of incumbents, fintech payment services providers, reinventing remittances, transferize, and revolt. Alternative connectivity services, Ripple Connect, and a response by Swift with Swift GPI, which really wasn't a response because all they did was add tracking on. Big freaking deal. This is use of crypto assets as a bridge currency. Ripple's liquidity, yes, that is through XRP and an alternative-based DLT on CLSnet. Settlement assets as a proxy for central bank digital currencies. Digital tokens denominated in major sovereign currencies to improve wholesale settlement in major currencies, fully backed by funds held at the central banks of issues. Could also be combined with a CBDC tiered CBDC. This is tremendous people the ecb the european central bank is mentioning the one and only ripples and xrp for liquidity issue uh issuance you do not see them talking about bitcoin ethereum litecoin cardano here no they're talking about ripple and xrp but we're not done i want to go down and i want to pull up my next slide which is going to be Not there yet. Hold on. Outlook. So the outlook of this overall presentation. Global standardization efforts by standard settlers and industry bodies. Increasing impact of innovations. Initiatives to enhance cross-border interoperability. What do you need to interoperate? A bridge currency, which is X. RP enhanced focus on cyber resilience reactions of incurment such as banks and infrastructures on innovations and new competitors leveraging by relevant public bodies and on financial inclusions this presentation came out on Tuesday to European Central Bank talking about cross-border payments and comparing pretty much your two major players Ripple Connect that's what Ripple used to be called by the way to Swift GPI. What do you think is going to win out in the long run? A system that is interoperable with all different currencies that can move money, can move value around the world in a matter of seconds, that can free up trillions of dollars sitting on order books, or an old system that relies on trillions of dollars sitting around the world in dormant capital just so they're able to settle a payment on the back end, which takes three to five days, which has a 90% success rate. 10% of those fail. What are you going to choose? Oh, it's also more expensive than I mentioned that. XRP is the future. It is coming. That is why the ECB is talking about it. And they mentioned CBDCs where we know this whole thing is going. All right. The thumbnail of today's video. You know who that is. Rocio Rios. Did you hear what she just said? You see the train? You see XRP on the train? You see it leaving the station? That's going to segue right into what we're saying. For those of you who don't know, pay attention here. Excuse me. You see that signature? This note is legal tenant for all debts, public and private. You see who signed that? Rosa Rios. Rosa Rios is now on a Ripple's board. There is a reason she joined Ripple. There is a reason she is on all of the money. We move over. Images have meanings. Love this. The irony. Pop. Pop's Pizza Hut employee of the month. Proud of him. So Pop's pushing Bitcoin pizza. While the former U.S. treasurer and Ripple's newest board member, Rosi Rios, who has signed all of the money people is on team ripple why is she on team ripple well i'll tell you why i want you to have a listen to this 24 second clip and listen closely what do you think about cryptocurrency as a form of currency well uh, i think the trains already left the station in terms of cryptocurrency uh, you may or may not know that i just joined the board of ripple and the reason why i chose to to join that board it's in my opinion, one of the few cryptocurrency options out there that has a credible and legitimate use. So financial institutions use it to settle cross-border payments. What do you... Financial institutions use 
Ripple and XRP to settle payments. The newest member of Ripple's board is telling you, listen, she was a U.S. treasurer. She has signed probably that $20 bill that is sitting in your pocket. She is telling you that the train has left the station. She knows all about money. She knows all about currency. That was her job. And she was just asked in this interview about Ripple and XRP and why she joined. Because she said it's one of the few legitimate projects in the space that has a real use case. And she said the train has already left the station. There is so much more that we do not know that is going on here. But there is a reason that you leave the U.S. Treasury to join a fintech company that's about, I don't know, 10 years old. But even 10 years old, 9 years old, there is a reason you go over there. There is a reason for the people that Ripple hire and bring on. Who has Bitcoin brought on? Who has Ethereum brought on? Look at Ripple's team. They are solving a real world use case with on-demand liquidity. That's why the ECB's talking to them, Bank of England, central banks, 40 to 50 central banks are working with Ripple. And that is why you have a former U.S. treasurer whose name is plastered all over the money sitting in your pocket, joining Team Ripple and telling you that this is the only real project in the space and that the train has already left the station. Chew, chew, people. That's going to do it for me. Wash your damn hands. Enjoy your Friday. Ripple Van Winkle is out.